In this video I'd like to show you how to derive metric conversion factors to carry out one-step metric conversions. Here's a table of some common um, metric prefix names and the prefix symbol, the exponential value, and then the actual number. Now these prefixes and their associated number are not themselves conversion factors. We're going to use these to derive the conversion factors. Let's start off with a problem where we need to convert 100 kilometers to meters. First thing we need to do before we have any setup is to determine the metric conversion factor between meters and kilometers. What is now in blue is the method I'll describe to derive metric conversion factors. First, ask which is the larger unit, a kilometer or a meter? Use the table to help you determine. The meter is a base unit, so it is associated with an exponential of zero or the number one. Kilo is associated with the exponential of three, or a thousand. So that means a kilometer is larger than a meter. Next, write a fraction and write kilometer in the numerator and meter in the denominator, or you could write meter in the numerator and kilometer in the denominator. But however you choose to start, put the number one in front of the larger unit, in this case one kilometer. The number that goes in front of the meter needs to be 10 raised to some power because we need at least 10 small units to make up the one larger unit. And the exponent must be positive because a negative exponent will give us a number between 0 and 1. And we know we need at least 10 smaller units to make up the one larger unit. The exponent is determined by taking the difference between the exponents of the base unit and the other unit of kilo. Using this method, the exponent in the conversion factor must always be positive because a negative exponent will produce a number between 0 and 1. And if you set up the fraction where you need at least 10 small units to make up the one larger unit, the exponent therefore must be positive. The conversion factor between kilometers and meters can be written in two ways, one kilometer per 10 to the third meters or 10 to the third meters per one kilometer. Now let's carry out the conversion for 100 kilometers to meters. We use the method of dimensional analysis. The framework for dimensional analysis is the given information, in this case 100 kilometers, times a conversion factor. So in this case we'll set up the conversion factor as 10 to the third meters over a kilometer because we want the units of kilometers to cancel. And we end up with 100 times 10 to the third meters, or converting that to scientific notation, it's 1 times 10 to the fifth meters. We could check that 100 times 10 to the third is 1 times 10 to the fifth meters by looking at the number of zeros in the two numbers. 100 times 10 to the third means 100 with three zeros after it to make the 100 much larger. 1 times 10 to the fifth means 1 with five zeros after it to make the 1 much larger. So they both check. Another way to look at this is 100 times 10 to the third, and 10 to the third is 1,000, so 100 times 1,000 would be 100,000, and 10 to the fifth is 100,000, and 1 times 10 to the fifth, well, would be 100,000. This problem asks to convert 23.3 microliters to milliliters. First, determine the metric conversion factor. The milliliter is larger than the microliter, 
So a number 1 goes in front of the unit of milliliter, and 10 to some exponent goes in front of the microliter. The exponent in the conversion factor is the difference between the exponent for micro and the exponent for milli. And the difference is 3. If you consider what we're trying to accomplish in our conversion factor, that is, one large unit to at least 10 small units, you'll appreciate that the exponent must be positive, in this case, positive 3. So the conversion factor can be written as 1 milliliter per 1,000 microliters or 1,000 microliters per milliliter. We'll use dimensional analysis to solve this problem. The given is 23.3 microliters. The conversion factor, in this case, we'll write it as 1 milliliter per 1,000 microliters, and the unit of microliters cancel. And we're left with 23.3 times 10 to the minus 3 milliliters, which, when converted to scientific notation, is 2.33 times 10 to the minus 2.